What's up, everybody? Afro Joe here. Ten like a is again. Well, this like I'm gonna say this. I did a video about the people on now live apologizing. That was apologized to a lot of people, and I say it in that video that there was people that did worse or damage than I have. Let me say it again. I said in that video that there was people that did worse or shit than I have. So that means whatever I did was not major, was not even the worst thing. Because people did worse things than I have, and I didn't go that fucking far. I apologize to several people in that video. I only mentioned that video. The video was only for the people that was from Now Live. Nobody from LV live video, just the people from Now Live. And I got and I posted the video up, and I get some dumbass motherfucker ninja man talking saying I'm talking shit. I'm gonna show you what this motherfucker said again because, like I said, there was people that did worse shit than I have. See, fine, you said you would delete damage you made. Because you had nothing but Photoshop junk and never checked with my side of what happened and refused to look at proof of post to clear me. I gave, I give you one week to undo all the damage, but if you ask me to forgive you, it won't happen. But it may help you through it with the troublemakers to get cheap jollies and you still got to a lot of work from in front of you 27 minute video into your video I haven't heard my apology yet like dude like I said I don't know who like I responded I don't know who you are mm -hmm. and I did a video about it and this guy like my friend told me it's a Disney she said this is the guy from live video that was jacking off uh -huh. jacking off to women and sending them pictures of his dick to all the women on the site I say I didn't have the evidence. I didn't have the little proof to to back it up. All I knew is that I seen it, seen the proof, but I didn't have it in my possession. So I didn't do all that damn damage. And I and it's kind of fucked up. He said that. That's the fucking like I said before when I did that video about him. That's a damn rest. No, you do not demand. You do not say. Oh, you got seven. You got a week. I'm not going to apologize, and I can't do all that damage what other people did. I can and do, you done to yourself. Yeah, and what you've done to yourself. The only thing I can do is undo what I did. Not undo and what all you did was talk some shit in a video. That's all you did. Yeah. You didn't show video or video or um, um, pictures or whatever. I mean, you didn't even send the fucking pictures, from what I remember. Yeah, so... Instead of you making all these damn threats, you need to rephrase what the fuck you were saying. Because one thing is, like I said in that video, I could have turned this over to the damn FBI if I wanted to. You he hasn't said shit because he knows he's guilty. Yeah, yeah, he ain't, true, he hasn't had said shit because he's guilty. When I did that video, he could have responded to it and said, you're lying and all this, but he didn't respond to it. Pussy. See? Now... I'm going to move on from this piece of shit to another piece of shit. Another pussy cunt, dumb, fat bitch. We're going to talk about honey bear. Fat bear, as I call her. Now, this woman, I never talked shit about. I didn't mm -hmm. call her no names. I didn't say nothing bad about her. She's EA Jamie and groupie. That's why she's all butt hurt and hate guts, apparently. Yeah. See, I said my dudes back then. Who the fuck would love that fucking nasty, ugly, motherfucking, fester looking pedophile? Uncle fester looking motherfucker. That ain't me saying that. Afro Joe didn't say that. That was sadistic. That was, that's yeah. Sad. Come at me, bro. Come at me, I dare you. That was sadistic. That wasn't me saying it. Now, <laughs> this this fat piece of shit writes me a letter. I I did an apology letter. I say, uh, not apology letter, but apology video saying 
can you forgive me I'm sorry for what I did and she writes a letter like I said before I never talked bad about her I didn't say nothing bad about her but I did and I don't care <laughs> yeah and she writes this message on my Facebook like she kind of showed me look some respect hi Afro Joe okay I was like thank you so she said hi I saw your apology video and let me tell you something I for one would not forgive you and any everyone else won't either you cause drama and love to God so as, as well racist hold on how the fuck is that from Joe racist when he's next and I, yeah, my mama's white, my father's black, and I got black and white, Asian, Hispanic friends. That doesn't make me a racist. You need to get your shit straight. If I made friends with a Jewish person or an Asian person, that does not make me a racist. That makes me a, a friend. You do not call somebody a racist that makes friends with other minorities. Does someone forget to check their intelligence? I guess so. Apparently she has. I got black friends, white friends, Mexican friends, Arab friends, Hindu friends, Muslim friends, white friends, Chinese friends, and all this and that. Imaginary friends, always oh, that's me. Oh yeah. And she writes, you have burned a lot of bridges. No, I didn't burn a lot of bridges. I burned a few, uh, I wouldn't say a few but probably a small amount of bridges. I'm trying to rebuild them. Burn a lot of bridges with a lot of people, including me. Like I said, I ain't said nothing about you. You out in yourself. <laughs> you out in yourself. I don't even know what you mad at, me, mad at me for. If I said something about somebody else and your name didn't come across my lips, then that means I'm not talking about your ass. So don't put your nose in something that you don't know nothing about. Isn't she a fucking liar too? Yes, she is a liar. And she writes, you have just, just, you just butt her. How am I fucking butt her? I'm apologizing. That doesn't make me butt her. Because no one wants to talk to you. I get a lot of people talking to me. I'm out for a motherfucking Joe. I talk to a lot of people. If nobody wanted to talk to me, I wouldn't have a shitload of subscribers on my Facebook. Not my Facebook, but my YouTube. If nobody didn't want to hear what I have to say. And I, like I said, I talk to a lot of people on my Facebook. I talk to a lot of people on my phone. My house phone. I talk to a lot of people everywhere. So you need to shut that shit up right there. And I don't blame them for not talking to you. Go and talk to your low-life friends who are dogs like you. Now, she brings up two people I know. The, and I am not a low-life, you fat bitch. Yes, sadistic's not a low-life. Sid Vicious, I ain't talked to him in two years. I ain't talked to him in two years. And Shelly Blaze, I just talked to her a few minutes ago and showed her the fucking message that you sent. None of us here want you. Well, nobody wants your nasty ass, too. Look, Sylvia Honeybear. That's her name. Sylvia Jean Davis. Go to, like, for all my subscribers and all my friends, go to her Facebook page and just tell her like the T.I. is. Oh, and uh, Honey Nasty Bear, um, if you're, you know, wanting to be Billy Badass over the computer, why didn't you just um, comment on Afro Joe's um, videos through yeah. YouTube instead of being a fucking cunt, pussy ass bitch, and uh, messaging him on Facebook. Yes, yeah, thank you. Why? That's a good question. Why didn't you comment on the video instead of sending me a message? Because one thing is, are you that lazy that, or just fucking afraid? Because you know that uh, Afro Joe has talked about you in lies about uh, being getting fucked by some movie star and having his love child. Yes, that will be the, the, the famous person is Damon Chapa. He was in such movie as Money Talk, Street Fighters, Blood In, Blood Out. She lied to a bunch of people saying 
that she was pregnant with his child and she <laughs> was dating him. Now, bullshit. that is bullshit. Thank you. Thank you so kindly. And everybody... I have seen... Sorry. I have seen photos of his ex-wives and girlfriends and they are knocked out. And I've seen pictures of you, honey bear. And, I mean, I, I don't have anything to fat people, but... He would definitely not even lay a fucking finger on you. He wouldn't even give you a fucking hug. Actually, that's how nasty you be. You are nasty. Actually, actually, there is one picture she took where he actually had his arm around her. That's the only picture she got with this dude. It's Photoshop. Like, no, it's not Photoshop. It's real. It's actually that's that's real. It's not Photoshop. I looked saw it myself. And just because you meet somebody that's somewhat famous, and I've never heard of the guy, so I wouldn't know, but, uh, and that doesn't mean you can make up delusional fantasy bullshit world where you make yourself believe that you are fucking him and, um, having kids with him because, you know, Afro Joe knows Adrian Curry. I know a bunch of people, and you don't see me running around going, oh, I fucked him, oh, I, yeah. uh, my son's his child. Yeah, you don't hear me saying me and Adrian Curry's dating, and say she pregnant my child. I know her, I've been knowing her since now live. She's on my face, she just sent me a damn happy birthday on my fucking profile. I know MC Shane, you remember MC Shane's from the 80s, 80s and 90s, he was a rapper. Public enemy or... No, no, MC Shane was a rapper by himself. Oh, okay. And I know him, but I ain't saying he that my he he's my brother. I don't go around lying on people. I don't go around lying about people, lying on people, or lying about dating some fucking body. Cause I ain't like you. When I I'm sitting up here, and one thing is, you do not speak for every fucking body in this whole damn world. You cannot sit up and speak for everybody. If the people that I pissed off in the past is they, if I pissed off a lot of people in the past, you, you don't bring it to the present because whatever's been said and done in the past, it's in the past. Leave it there. Don't bring it up today because if you bring something that was did wrong up today that happened, then that means what? You still got a grudge. I'm trying to apologize to these people and say I'm sorry. All you doing is trying to like, like for real. Does the I'm ask I'm ask everybody I fucking hurt, the pissed off. Does Sylvia Davis speak for you? If she does not speak for you, go to her fucking profile on Facebook and tell her ass off. If you're a grown ass person and she doesn't speak for you, tell her ass off because she's up there speaking for you. As a second, you don't know all my fucking friends, and not, and all my friends are not low life. You don't know me, and trust me, you don't want to know me. I can make you like the living. Yeah, know. and for and like I said, I talked to Shelly Blaze, and I showed her what you said, Sylvia Davis, and she's pissed mm -hmm. off. She's like, she she said, don't step to her crazy. Like, like I said before, man. There's been, I'm going to say it again, there's been people that did worse things than I have. Mm -hmm. So if there's people that did worse shit than I have, why jump my ass for something I said? Why jump me for what I said? I didn't do what they did. There's mm -hmm. been people, there's People, I'm still friends with the did worse shit than I have. That took, that actually took screen cap pictures of certain women <laughs> that was naked and posted up on fucking porn site. That was them. That is not me. Just because I hang with them doesn't mean I'm, I did it or knew about it. Do not blame me for somebody else's bullshit. And do not sit there and, uh, like I. Like all the people I pissed off are grown people. Mm-hmm. You're even not me. even sadistic. You're not the mama. You're not their daddy. Well, you could. Well, you could, cause you got that wolf puss too, man. I say you need to line it up. And <laughs> you need you need to line that up, man. You, you, 
that wolf push you got on your face. You man. got more fucking hair than AJ does. You, yeah, she does got more hair than me. Man, you got more hair than a Wookiee. She got more hair than my fucking stalker. Hell yeah. See, it's, I'm gonna say this because I like before I did this video, I told my I told my homegirl Sadistic. No, she actually told me, she's like, it's like, you seem like you're trying to go good, but it's dumb fucks that's trying to turn, trying to make you go back to your ways. Yes, it is. She's right. I'm trying to go on a straight path where I'm not talking about people from Now Live or Live Video or Blog TV or Stick Kim or any other site. I'm trying to do videos that's happening out there in the real world. Kids getting killed. Three people got stabbed on the other side of town. Damn. Three people, and he and, and, and three people got stabbed, and one of them was a 14-year-old kid that was starting high school. And you worried about what the fuck I said years ago? There's three people dead, and you worry about what the fuck I said years ago? Drama queens only give a fuck about drama. Yeah. It's obvious that she's a fucking drama queen. Yeah. If this, if 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 people would have watched my shit, it's all about women. It's all about parents fucking their kids up, doing the most stupidest shit. It's about people who get hurt, who got stabbed, who survived the whatever. Kid, uh, mm -hmm. when I did that video about a 15 year old girl getting raped by three guys in front of 15 fucking people I did not hear you? yeah it happened I didn't hear about that I did, yeah it happened what two years ago two or three years ago I did not it happened yeah this two years that's why I'm a lesbian yeah guys you pigs I, no I'm about to tell you this I did a video about that the girl got raped by three dudes in front of 15 fucking people but she wants to bring up what I said and did on live video and not live. A girl told asked two police officers to help her because she was getting bullied. They told her to go down on a bus platform. She went down there. She has two security guards to help. They turned her their back on her and she got an ass whip and robbed. But you wanna talk but you wanna bring up something that happened years ago. A, a mother leaves her three kids at home just to go next door to fuck her neighbors. Where did the kids go? They went on the highway. But you want to talk about what what I said years ago. A doctor waterboard his own child. But his wife and him went to jail for it. But you want to talk about something that happened in the past. <clears throat> See, it makes no sense when I talk. It makes no sense. It makes no sense because I talked about things that happened. I'm not talking about issues just because. Oh, it's a good day to talk about. I talk about things that happens because it happened. Kids are dying out there in the street. Kids bringing guns to school. Kids getting raped by preachers and pastors and bishops families are getting killed in their own home innocent people getting locked up for something they didn't do but your ass want to sit up here and and sit up here and talk about what I said in the past it's bullshit now let me say something if you don't mind uh, go ahead you know, I've known Wookie for, I'd say, maybe four to five, five and a half years. And, you know, in recent months, or the recent past year, since this year's almost over with, um, he's really trying to change his ways. And as people like you, Hun Bear, and um, what's his name? Nazi. Not Nazi, but uh, Ninja, Ninja, Turtle, Ninja Turtle or whatever. Um, it's people like you that, uh, you know, make him do what he does. And I honestly, I don't blame him. I don't know you, Honey Bear. Um, I don't know EAJ Man. I don't know Ninja. I mean, I've honestly, I've 
heard of you, but I don't really know you, and I've never spoken to you, but, you know, all Afro Joe did was make an apology video. You didn't have to go and be a total fucking twat and bash him. You could, you know, either accept the apology or not and go on about your fucking business without being a fucking rude ass drum queen about it. So you know what? Fuck you. Yeah. You dick and the booty ass wolf puss looking hoe. Thank you. Because like I said, when live video went, when not live and live video went down, no, when I, no, when live video went down, before I, before it went down, I left live video because it was too much. Yeah, I did, nothing but drama and hackers and yeah. immature bullshit. Oh, no, I left before the hackers came out, but I um, left. I, that's right. I left because it was too much drama on the site and I got sick of it. I left and I went somewhere else and I was at peace. I did not go back to my old ways and did videos about people from live video or now live blog or sticking. I did videos about the real shit, the real issue. That matters. Yeah, the get that does matter. I didn't say I, I'm. That's all it is. I only do videos that matter. You can sit there and say, "Well, you're talking about me in this video because you forced my hand down on it." You forced my hand. I did an apology video to apologize to people. I pissed off. I'm asking for forgiveness. I ain't sit up there and say, well, kiss my ass and burn the hell, motherfuckers. I don't give a fuck about y'all. No, all I said was, can y'all forgive me for what I said? Instead of instead of some dumbass named Ninja Man coming up with a fucking ransom note and you sitting up there trying to speak for everybody in the fucking world man y'all make me want to go back to my old fucking ways I'm tired of it man grown ass human beings that are older than me and you acting like children what a goddamn shame I hope I feel bad for your children she don't got children she got two damn latino she got two chihuahuas Wait, she said that she has a kid by that movie star? She had a miscarriage. Oh, well, anyone can think of fucking miscarriage. Yeah. And she whoever can... does is completely fucking stupid and immature. I think she needs to go on Dr. Phil, man, because that... That's like faking, like, cancer or something. That's not something to fucking... Actually, think. somebody did fake cancer. Well, they need fucking shots. But it, it, but it's like this though, Sylvia Davis. Retarded bitch. Re, yeah, retarded bitch. Why don't you go and instead of um harassing my friends, why don't you um get off your fat ass and drop the nachos and soda pop and exercise them thighs and or fine. um get on the Jenny Craig program instead of acting like. A Billy badass over a fucking computer. Yeah. I don't give a fuck if what I say pisses you off because obviously you are nothing to me but an immature twat. And your parents did a horrible fucking job of raising you. That's, that's, that's how it is, man. I speak the fucking truth. You want to come at me? I fucking dare you. Because that's all it is right there. I had, like I said in that video, the apology video, me and Principal fought. I didn't know what we was fighting about. But one day out the blue, I actually hit him up and said, Dude, I'm sorry for whatever I did. I don't remember what we was fighting about, but I'm sorry what I said to you and did to you. And he accepted my apology straight out the bat. And I haven't said shit about him. He even said happy birthday to me. Oh. Didn't say shit about it. I thanked him for it. I said thank you. Thank you, man. I didn't say fuck you, kiss my ass. Nothing. I said thank you, principal. 
See, I have changed my ways, but you gonna come out, you and this ninja motherfucker gonna come out the woodwork. Oh, you a motherfucker. Nobody gonna accept your fucking apology. Y'all You know, they would make an awesome couple. Yeah. She uh, could sit on her ass and eat Cheetos and bully people or harass them over the computer while he sits in front of her and jerks off to it. Yeah, and send his picture of his dick to every... <laughs> yeah, and it's... De los capiche cabrones. Oh, and, uh, you know, let, uh, be oblivious to E.A. Jamie and hitting on underage chicks. Hey, I didn't say that, man. That was sadistic. I don't get... You know, I don't give a fuck. What, what's E.A. Jamie gonna do? He don't know nothing about me. He don't know shit. What's he gonna do? Threaten me with his little weird-ass voice? That nigga ain't gonna do shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the truth, the, the, like they say, the truth will set you free. I think, look, Sylvia, you need to find religion too, man. You need to find God. I don't think God even wants her. <laughs> no, well, he, I've heard, uh, like they say, God made us in his image. Look at her, well, I guess. he must be a brutal asshole then, in reality. See? No offense, the Christians out there. No, I, no, they say God. Like, like I said, God. They say God made everybody in His image. I think Satan made made her in His image, cause she got that wood. I don't even think Satan would want her in his little cult. Man, Satan wouldn't even fuck that. Even a demon wouldn't even touch that. Hell, Adolf Hitler wouldn't even want her. Hell no. What's his name? Genghis Khan wouldn't touch her. Osama bin Laden wouldn't have let her in. Oh, something was done with his committed suicide. He would, oh, look, look, pfft, there you go, he did. He would have <laughs> killed himself. So was, so was Saddam said, hey, just hang me nutter. <laughs> that's why, that's why Ben Laden's at the bottom of the ocean, because you, you scared the shit out of him, committed suicide. I die. They went, now I see why the Twin Towers fell, because you looked at it. Oh, what? <laughs> That was demolition right there. She may build herself far from a distance. Damn. I know not only. She makes King Kong look sexy. No, she made Freddy Cougar look sexy. <laughs> cool. But yeah, I mean, why go around and tell everybody that you're dating a movie star? And to be honest, no, no disrespect. Yeah, no disrespect to the actor. I don't. I never even knew who the fuck he was until tonight. Yeah. Never in my life. And you know what? I mean, you got like what one picture of him and you together? Oh, big whoop! It does not mean shit. Yeah, one picture. I cut. You are a fan girl. Yeah, cause when I did my show on Now Live, the people that was in my room would PM me and say she was lying, even I knew she was lying. Because why would you lie about a person that you met once? Did I wouldn't you? be surprised. Yeah, she's straight her ass. Hell yeah. Well, I'm telling you, man, you can, like, if I go up to him with her picture and I say, hey, man, did, did you? He would run scared. He'll run scared or probably slap a lawsuit, a lawsuit on your ass. Don't sit there and lie on somebody you do not know. Well, she doesn't know him nothing personal. Yeah. Oh, he was in Blood In Blood. He was actually good in Blood In Blood Out, man. That was a kick ass movie right there. He played a white Latino that had only one leg and he was kick ass. White Latino, I don't think so. Yeah, actually, some Latinos come out white. Yeah, I'm actually met some Latinos that was white. I said, hey, what's up, man? He said, Cabasa. I said, oh, shit, he's white. Probably mixed or something. No, nah, he was white. There wasn't no mix in it. His parents were Latinos, and he came out white. It's just oh. like it's just like when black folks come out. They got that little, uh, what's that shit called? I forgot that pigmentation shit. They're albi yeah, yeah. albino. When they come out albino, and where they look just straight white, but everybody thinks they're white. I mean... Like, they come out straight white, but they're black. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, okay. You know, like, the older they get in, like, weeks or months, their skin turns. No, no, no. They come out, they come out white. 
but they're black. I know all babies come out white. No, and and uh, bloody. No, I'm talking about this. They're born white. When they get older, they're still white. Their color never comes because the pigmentation is not there. They don't have enough cells to make the color in the skin. Oh, well, that's like yeah. some kind of, not a skin disease, but something. I don't know. Is it, but, Why are we talking about this shit? I don't know. Uh, 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 oh, yeah. I'm sorry, man. We got off track on that, but... Like I said, Sylvia Davis, you cannot you cannot sit there and talk all this shit about people. You it makes no sense. I didn't say shit about you when we was on now live or live video. I kept my mouth quiet on you. And there's been a bunch of people I apologized to before and became friends again, and I never talked shit about them again. But when I start talking about a few other people, they got mad at me because I was talking about one of their friends. That I've mentioned? Yeah. I apologize. I'm I'm trying to apologize to EAJ, man. I'm trying to apologize to Sample and Mr. Voice and other people that I fucked over. <laughs> but, so if I'm apologizing to them, why did you get, like... If I pissed them off, why did you get pissed off? That's the question. Because she's a fucking uh, groupie. Yeah, I guess so. Because, like ass kisser. Because one thing, if I pissed them off, and you got pissed off, and I didn't say your name, you have no right to get pissed off of me because guilty I ain't. Guilty conscience. Yeah, she does got a guilty conscience because one thing is, her her conscience so damn guilty. She feels so damn guilty that she had to write that bullshit letter. Him and that faggot ass motherfucker ninja man. More like ninja in the <laughs> asshole or something. Put a dick. Ninja dick full and full. Yeah. Sylvia Davis and Ninja Man, why don't you pull the dick out your ass and grow the fuck up and be an adult? If you cannot work this out, then you are not an adult. Everybody's going to see you as a fucking child and a fucking liar. You didn't date Damon Chapel. You lie like a dog. You lie like a rug. <laughs> you lie like a rug. Even fucking bears wouldn't touch that man. That, that's a that's an ugly bitch right there, man. I can say that. I don't even think my any of my ex husbands would touch your shit. Man, man. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, man. If she if she was about to get attacked with a attacked by a bear, the bear would second look and then run because that's how fucked up she looked. <laughs> <laughs> like animals that are dangerous would give a second look and then run. Even the ugliest dog would look pretty. <laughs> now I see why I'm, now I see why people fuck animals because ugly bitches like her yeah. scares the shit out of them and they run to fucking animals. That's why that's oh why the, that's why farmers fuck sheep because she's so damn ugly. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Kukui. She's a Kukui. Yeah, she's a Kukui. The Kukui. The Kukui. Like I said, man, Sylvia, you brought this, like, I'm going to say this. You brought this on yourself. I didn't. You could have left shit alone. You could have left, you and Ninja Man could have left shit alone. But y'all couldn't. Y'all want to sit up here and play this whole fucking bullshit game. Why was me? Yeah. This ruined me. I am the victim. Which you're not. The victim. You're not the victims. I'm apologizing to the people I did piss off. Not you. You was nowhere in the situation. So I didn't know. I don't know why you put your fat ass nose in some shit. I'm still friends with. I'm friends with people that you are friends with. If like if you check my shit and see how many friends that are on my friends list, and compare it to your like if you go on my friends list, it, it's got the little thing that says mutual friends, and you can check who's on your mutual friends. They're my friends too. The friends you got on your friends list are friends on my friends list. They're friends with me. So that means you're friends with the people that's cool with me. That means if you, if, 
And, oh Lord, this bitch. It's like if I was her and I find out that this guy, like one thing is, my the people shouldn't be brought into. My friend should not be brought into it. My friend sadistic wanted to say something, and she's did, and she's been honest and truthful. Uh -huh. I'm telling like it is because, hey man, I had to say something, and I couldn't hold this shit in. You bash my friend? I fucking bash you and your friends. That's how I work. Yeah. All this could have been left alone if you would have shut the fuck up and let this shit play out. You and Ninja Man. I'm not going to apologize to you, Ninja Man, because you're not worth apologizing to. Because you showed your dick to every woman on now, uh, not loud, not live, but live video. You showed your dick to a lot of, like, all, the, like, women on live video. So I'm not going to apologize to that, man. That was your fucking doing. And Sylvia Davis, I'm not going to apologize to you because you lied too much. You're going to go back and tell a bunch of people I said this and that, and you're going to keep on getting them pissed off at me. But I got evidence to back this shit up, though. I got, I got evidence to back this shit up. So if they... If you're going to go back and tell them I said, oh, he said this about you, he said that about you, why, why, why should they believe you? Because you never told the truth. You never told the truth. You lied about being pregnant by a celebrity, which you wasn't. You lied about a miscarriage. Like, for real, man, could you see her having kids? It's like a troll, yeah. Man. Mother Goose Trolls make it look good. Garfield Troll and Dior, um, Diora. Dora. Dora. <laughs> God damn, I'll tell you, man. She makes men go gay. Her and my stuff are those. Yeah, now I see why, now I see why RuPaul is a gay and in <laughs> You better work. Cover girl. Nurky girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do your thing. <laughs> now I see why he gay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now I see why Ellen's gay. Cause shit, women don't want to fuck. No, no, that's what I'm wrong. If Ellen met her, man, she go straight. I wouldn't eat your coochie. She was the last bitch on her. She probably got rotten crotch. <laughs> yeah, she probably got that fucked up deformed pussy. <laughs> she probably got a dick, man. That's what that is. She probably do got a yeah. dick. She a trainee. <laughs> she's trying to be like Lady Gaga except she's fat and ugly <laughs> the Lady Gaga's with the Googles oh no I didn't say that what you did <laughs> man I bet I bet I'm surprised her fingertips aren't total permanent stains from Cheetos they probably are <laughs> I bet her fingertips are like brown and orange from Cheetos and chocolate I bet she got a, I bet she got a stickle ball in her purse. Like <laughs> <laughs> that fat bitch from Beavis and Butthead? Yeah. Or no, wait, no, wait, that was Daria. Nah, uh, yeah. Paws <laughs> <laughs> like this. I want some candy ball. Like <laughs> Man, she was about to read up that fat fucker off of the, that show called The PJs. There was a little fat kid named Juicy. He always wore a sign that says, Don't feed me. She reminds me of that kid, man. Or Mimi from the Drew Carey show. Yeah, just. Always has, like, bright-ass eyeshadow. Yeah, uh. Pink. <laughs> I'll say, I'll tell you, man. Don't get mad at me because I'm talking all this shit about you. You brought that on yourself. Like I said, you could have let shit go and let this shit roll. But you gotta, you and Ninja Man have to open up your fucking mouth and just talk all that shit. Cause y'all know I'm a, yeah, cause you know I'm gonna say something about it. But y'all was too damn dumb just to really, y'all was dumb enough just to say this shit, knowing I'm gonna say something about it. I'm trying to go the right way. You're going the wrong way by trying to get me to start a fucking fight with everybody back on certain But I know, I think that's what they want though, Joe. That's why. Their lives are so miserably boring that they want to hold grudges and call you out and say this yeah. and that just so 
will make videos about him. And guess what? He's gonna make money off your dumbasses. So yeah, see, he's a coming. You, hell yeah, I'm make some good money. You can sit there. You can sit there and say you can take me to court. Hey, like I said before, there's videos that write themselves. Just as comedians, they gonna run into some hecklers, and them hecklers write their jokes. Y'all is you is like my heckler. It, the jokes write itself. Yeah, you are the joke. Not you, Josie. Yeah, the, the fat bitch and the... Uh, the antagonizers. Yeah. Like I said, you could have left shit alone and just let these people either forgive me or not. They don't need backup. You don't speak for them. They yeah. speak for themselves. So. It's called breaking speech. Yeah, In she, case your name is Obama or Adolf Hitler, then you need to shut your fucking mouth. No, take that back. Adolf Hitler... Died before he came to the U.S. and so I don't give a fuck. He he was a dictator. He told people what the fuck to do. Actually, you should have said Napoleon. He actually almost took over the whole continent of Europe by himself. Oh, Napoleon died right too. The fuck ever. No, he there was a mutiny. He got killed by the people. Oh well, he was, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I see. I know my history, but. I know my history too, but I'm just, you know, talking out. I'm pulling shit out of my ass. Yeah, same here, but like I said, me and Sadistic had a fight several times. Oh, God, over the same thing as I, um, well, I'm not going to go into detail about it because it's retarded, but I I fell in love with a guy and he told me to to not date dudes on the internet and blah, blah, blah. He made like, I think, three, three or four videos about me. And I finally was like, dude, you know what, this is retarded. I apologized to him, he apologized to me. I asked him as politely as possible to finish one of the videos. And he did. And ever since then, he has been perfectly fine. Yeah. I talk shit about, I talk shit about, what's her name? Uh, Mistress of the Undead. Oh, God. Ugh. And me and her came friends, and she asked me politely, can you take down them damn video? And I did. She don't talk. And then she, well, no, because uh, she was only trying to be nice to you, so you delete that video, probably. Yeah, and I did it because she said it nicely. As long as you say something, like, can you, like you said, can you please take it down? Yeah, I'll take it down. Don't threaten me. Say, oh, if you don't take it down, I'm going to do this. I'm going to leave it up. Because the shit I, like, something like nowadays, the shit I, the videos I do now, I put a lot of evidence in. So, you can sit there and say, if you don't take down that video, I can go back and they can, the courts can watch this video and they can see what you said. Mm -hmm. And plus with Ninja Man's making that ransom note, if he can, if he takes me to court over this video, I'm going to show him what he said. Hey, ain't that a ransom note? He gave me some odd days to do whatever. Shot him. That's a ransom note. Even the judge would agree with me. He wrote it as a ransom note. So you really can't sit up there and say, if you don't take it, no, that's a ransom note, motherfucker. Don't make no death threats. Y'all could have left shit alone. Y'all could have came to me as nicely, politely, say, no way, you hurt me. You did me wrong. I was like, I don't know. I said, maybe we can work on this, but for now, I still can't trust you. That's mm -hmm. it. That's all y'all could do. It came to me nicely and respectfully and say, hey, we could probably work this out, but I can't forgive you. You got to work on it. Maybe we can become friends again. That's all y'all have to do. It, and it's funny that I'm sitting up there being more of a fucking dull than they, they are. You can bitch complain how long this fucking video is. I don't give a fuck. At least I got enough common sense to realize something. Hey, I was in the wrong for doing what I did. How about y'all? How about y'all? And I bet you, I bet you, you and Ninja Man go come out the woodwork and say, fuck you, Afro Joe, yada, 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 knowing that y'all are guilty of what y'all doing. Sylvia, you know you're going to come out the woodwork and say something because, like I said, everybody caught you in a motherfucking lie. Come on, say something. Say something about Damon. So everybody can see how much of a fucking liar you are. 
Well, do you have any last words, Miss Sadistic? No, I have pretty much insulted everybody that is um, deserving of an insult. So I think I am pretty much done. Apart from, I mean, considering I wrote a long ass blog about my stalker um, yeah. and insulting some bitch that I don't know, uh, I'm pretty much flat out of insults for the evening. Yeah. Well, this has been after. Well, I've been. This is Afro Joe Ten, like T.I. is again. Like I said, ladies and gentlemen, if you subscribe to my channel or you're on my friends list, or you follow me on Twitter, go on Facebook, look up Sylvia Davis, and just tell her off. Just tell her off. I'll show you her name so you can spell it right. That's her name, Sylvia Jean Davis. Everything. Look, she with sailors in our profile picture. Why don't you just link her uh, Facebook to your? Uh, yeah, that's what I'm probably do. Link her Facebook to your to on here, so y'all can go to her page and tell her off. But this has been Afro Joe Ten, like Ti is. And sadistic. And sadistic. Hey, check me out next time. Peace. To the Middle East. Yeah. Ooh.